Okay, in this lesson, uh, we're working on two note per string seventh arpeggios. Now, what I've done here is I've taken an F major scale and I've gone all the way up the fretboard, you know, starting on the root and ending on the octave here. And what we have up here is, you know, your different shapes, okay? The reason I've chosen F major is because the second mode of F major is G Dorian minor. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these arpeggios and I'm going to land them on, on each one of these notes. So there are seven notes inside of a major scale. Well, there's seven corresponding arpeggios, seven chords, okay? So your first note is major, your second is minor, third is minor, fourth is major, fifth is dominant seventh, Six is minor, and then seventh is your minor seven flat five. Some people call it half diminished. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape right here, and this one's going to line right up with this one up here. Okay, so. <laughs> we're going to use is I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. So I'm starting at fifth, third, root, seventh. Okay, so your second note here, this is minor. Now this might be a little confusing at first. All you're going to do is you're going to line this one up to your two. Okay, and the reason we're doing that is, is we're playing modally the second mode of your F major scale is minor. Okay, it's G minor. So when we're talking about this, this is your G note. So we're referring to G as one down here, but we refer it to two up here. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed by this. Just hear the sound. Don't get overwhelmed by the technical jargon of it. Okay, so... So that's your second. Now your third is a minor as well. Okay, your fourth you're back to major. Now, when you get to your fifth note, this is called your dominant chord, okay? It's like the major, but the seventh is dropped one note. Okay, your sixth is another minor. Your seventh, this is what we call the half diminished. And then you are back to one, but one octave above. And since we're playing in G, I'm going to bend up on that G root. 